Leah, thanks very much for joining us from Milan. Um, just give us an, an update on, um, I suppose, particularly the Italian market and I guess the current outlook and, and view in terms of ESG. As concern ESG, we have to consider that the Italian market is largely dominated by international investors. So it means that uh, they are uh, pushing uh, on in terms of what are the requests uh, from an ESG perspective. What we are seeing uh, in the Italian real estate markets uh, from uh, uh, this point of view is that basically um, there are three main trends. The first is uh, from uh, a development perspective uh, because uh, effectively we are seeing that uh, there is a new interest in the different certification like uh, leads and uh, etc. And uh, in um, the recent development, uh, the certification has always been a must. In relation to the certification, uh, we have also noticed that uh, uh, the asset management companies uh, are requiring more and more to have uh, also a grasp assessment uh, in order to be sure to satisfy, satisfy the requirements and the request for, uh, from the international investors. And uh, so it means that uh, there is more and more uh, an interest uh, from them. Linked to that, uh, um, I have to say that uh, um, if you look at uh, the um, Italian real estate uh, asset, uh, um, we have to consider that more than 40% has been built before 1960. So it means that there is also a urgent need of urban renewal. Also considering the fact that if you look at the cities in terms of green areas covered by green, they are represented by 10% in Italy. Whereas if you compare the similar data with European figures, you can have a data around 20 and 30%. So it means that also from this point of view, you have uh, to reconsider um, how cities are developed uh, um, and when you look at uh, um, new uh, development projects. Another trend uh, which is uh, very important uh, is tied to the regulation and stimulus package because effectively you can have that from two different levels from uh, uh, the European one, uh, if you think about the next generation uh, EU and uh, etc. And also from uh, a specific country point of view, whereas a specific package has been put in place to incentivize the um, refurbishment and renewal of um, private real estate assets. But it means that uh, it is uh, um, really pushing the real estate industry as a whole because uh, you have uh, to refurbish existing existing assets and uh, uh, having uh, this kind of uh, package uh, could be could uh, really make the difference. And Leah, um, do you think that within the Italian market we're going to see an increased focus going forward on these areas? Yes, I totally think so because uh, ESG is becoming more and more an imperative, not only for the real estate asset but for all the industries so it means that uh, a focus will be required not only on the environmental part which uh, of course is uh, one of the first with, that has been addressed from the industry in terms of the impact that the industry has on uh, the environment but also in terms of the other part of the e of the s and the g on the social impact uh, and also on uh, the governance uh, side Great. Thanks very much for joining us, Leah. Thank you.